Well, I don't know who's hairier now, me or Bonnie. Okay, so this amount of hair right here, this is a pretty good big wad of hair. It's like softball sized, compressed. Okay, all of that came off. Hey, turn around. Good girl. Good girl. Turn around. Oh, I got to hire a photographer. No, stop right there. Anyway, all of that came off just this hind leg right here. Just right here. Okay? Um, that is how much, too much coat these dogs have. Now, you can see she has a really good undercoat which is important for staying warm. But all this stuff here is all the harsh outer coat that it grows too long. And um, yeah, so what I had to do, I've only done uh, this one back leg here and I've kind of cleaned up the leg a little bit. Um, now we have a lot of brickleberry things out here and so I clean up the ends, see over here it's kind of like a lot of soft silky hair which the standard says hard hair on the legs for the very reason you don't want them getting the soft hair getting all the um, brickleberries in them but the show people they breed them with the soft hair on the legs so anyway what I do with with her is um, uh, I cleaned up her tail so it's a nice little nice little carrot tail oh honey stop now Stop just for a sec. I'll let, I'll let you down. Now, this is as much as I would do in one grooming session because both she and I are exhausted from um, her me having to keep picking her butt end up because she wants to sit. But anyway, I shaped her tail so it's a nice little carrot tail. Took all the long scragglies off of it. But anyway, this is, this is why I breed Cairns with a hard coat because even though every Cairn breeder on the planet says they breed their dog with a hard coat. They actually don't. They breed them with this soft hair on the legs. Um, and this this is just soft hair. That's what it is, right? I mean, they look great. This is what Karens look like, but it's not, ugh, it's not hard hair. <laughs> right, Bon? Okay, so for now, that's it. Bon wants to get down and go run around.